And yow, 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 what's shaking, turkey bacon? It's your host with the toast, Doc Mom Bender. And this is Doc's Rants. Freddie Gibbs and Benny the Butcher, let's talk! First time on the chopping block. And first, I want to say how lame this is. It's always corny when great artists can't put their differences aside and get money. But if y'all want to keep playing games, we here on the internet is going to talk about you. Some live footage of Freddie Gibbs came out. He telling rappers to get their name out of his mouth. I don't know for sure which one came first, but there's reports of Freddie Gibbs underhanded making fun of Benny the Butcher when he got shot not too long ago. And there's also reports of Benny the Butcher making underhanded jokes on Freddie Gibbs when he supposedly got his ass beat not too long ago. Like I said, I don't know which one came first, but this is a low down dirty shame. Griselda did a lot of collaborations with Freddie Gibbs and in my opinion, they really sounded good together, but it sounded great and it's crazy cuz Gibbs from a whole other state, a whole other city, he from the south and ain't supposed to go that smooth, but y'all see how it went. You heard how it went when, when Freddie and Benny did Frank Lucas. Uh, uh, you heard how it went on one, uh, one Way Flight, right? Uh, what's the other shit? Um, Freddie and Westside, they did $500 ounces. Fire! Um, babies and fools, y'all smelling what I'm stepping in. Not to mention Conway and Freddie Gibbs certified banging nigga. Seen everything but Jesus. I know y'all heard that one. Come on, y'all. This is why it's a shame. Cause on some real shit, it's like every time we get a beautifully unorthodox marriage like this in hip hop, the egos get in the way. The people around niggas get in the way. These rappers will say internet niggas like me get in the way. I wanna see y'all tone the drama down and continue making these classics. Contrary to stupid rappers' beliefs, I want better for you, black man. They're, they're, they're saying Freddie Gibbs is coming forth and saying this because Benny just did an interview with Spotify and and when asked about doing any future work with Freddie Gibbs, because there was supposed to be a mixtape. I don't know if the mix I don't know if that the joint album was supposed to be with Freddie Gibbs and Westside or Freddie Gibbs or Conway or Freddie Gibbs with Benny. I don't know which one, I'm not sure. But when they asked him about if he was gonna do any future work with Freddie Gibbs, Benny told them that working with Freddie Gibbs came and went. It came and went. So this is what set the nigga off. But when I heard that, I didn't take it in any disrespectful way. This whole music industry thing is probably sweeping Benny up like a hurricane, moving very fast. He seemed like a down to earth dude. Every time I go down my music feed, somebody got a new feature with Benny the Butcher, or Benny got a feature with somebody else. It's like clockwork. This is this is no exaggeration, bro. I tune into a lot of people YouTube music releases. Uh, Benny, Westside, and Conway gotta be three of the most hard working guys in hip hop, cause I don't see nobody putting consistent music at this rate. Now we're not gonna act like these guys haven't made some monotonous music where it's not not necessarily about the quality. You already know how this might sound before it even comes on, respectfully. But they're pumping the music out at an alarming rate. Uh, you know, my personal thoughts is that I watch Freddie Gibbs in interviews. Definitely an egomaniac. Not quite Kanye level, but you can see it. You know, so I'm not surprised that he got in his feelings behind when he said when Benny said that. But Benny is an ego dude too. You can hear it in his bars. It's so passionate. You know this nigga's a scumbag and he's not lying, but I'm sure these dudes' heart is in the right place at the end of the day. I would like to see them squash this and continue to give hip hop heads these bangers that they've been giving us. Hey, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit that like button, and don't forget to jump in these comments and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.